find out. Not very much, actually, but then neither did Scorpio and Valentine. Valentine? Yes, I recognized him the minute I saw him. And incidentally, he seems to be a rather good friend of Luke Spencer's. Well, if Valentine showed up, that means they're sure the disc is still in the casino. Obviously, he and Scorpio were very busily going through all the chips that they could get their hands on. But they didn't find anything, you're sure? Absolutely. Never saw two more frustrated people. Good, good. Well, that means if it didn't turn up, we still have a chance. As a matter of fact, we have two chances. I stopped by a payphone on my way back here and contacted our agent in Washington, the one we placed in Valentine's office. Yes. She said that Valentine's just sent for a copy of Gerald's original notes, the microfilm copy, and it's on its way here right now by special courier. Well, that must mean they've asked Gerald to recreate the disc before the expo. And that checks out with what Gerald said to me. Which was what? He was grumbling about having to redo an old project. But this is good news, because if we can't, get the disc back from the casino, we can steal the microfilm and set our own scientists to work on it. It's easier said than done. They're bound to have beefed up security both in Gerald's office and the lab. And changed the codes at the entry. Yes, but we've broken the code once. We can do it again. I think we should start to work in both areas, both the casino and Gerald's lab. Well, I'll take the casino. I'm the obvious one for that. After all, an artist needs his rehearsal. You two work out a plan to steal that microfilm. Right. <laughs> I can certainly understand Gerald's attitude. What do you mean? His frustration about having to start all over. So must we. Uh, Daryl's not the only one starting over. We're starting over, too. And this time, no slip-ups. I'll assume this is my cue to leave the room. Why? I'm only really anticipating you, Robert. I am sorry, Mrs. Scorpio. Our meetings have to be in secret. May I offer you a drink before I leave? If, if you would excuse me... I must contact my office in Washington. As to the offer of the drink, Mrs. Scorpio, I think I'll wait until I have something to celebrate. I'll assume from that remark that your date was not successful. No. But you can stop worrying about my badgering your boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. He's going to reopen his casino much sooner than I hoped. I think I can do without your caustic remarks, Robert. Obviously, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish isn't working, but since I know nothing whatsoever about it, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't take out your frustration on me. I've got to see Robert. He's right in front of you. Oh. What was that all about? Nothing. Oh, well, Holly certainly didn't make it sound like it was nothing. I can assure you everything is wonderful, fantastic, and just straight out peachy keen. Oh, good. You're here. Uh, yeah, we aim to please. What was the report from Washington? Oh, uh, Courier's on his way with the microfilm. I had a report so far empty-handed. Okay, so what's the next move? Uh, before I get to that, uh, I want an explanation from you. About what? You uh, installed the security system at Gerald's lab. I need to know why that system was penetrated without a break-in. Wait a minute. Are you saying I'm responsible for the theft of that disc? It amounts to that. It was your system. It obviously did not work. Why not? Uh, look, you know as well as I do that there isn't a security system in the world that's 100% safe. Please spare me the obvious and answer the question. I am answering it. The coats in Gerald's office and lab were broken the same way we break coats. Breaking coats is basic in espionage. And usually there is no way of telling after it's been done how it was accomplished. Could I assume that you have learned something from this experience? Learned what? Since Gerald is recreating the disc, then you will have to design and install a complete new security system for him. I already anticipated that. Well, then let me emphasize this. I expect this time a system that will do its job. I'll be in touch. Both of you. Don't worry, I got a rocket as well. <sighs> oh! Nice job. He's right, of course. And this time we can't have a single mistake. This time, this time we will do it together. This time we will throw a net around Gerald so tight that if a bed bug lands on him, we will nab it. Unless. Unless what? Unless we're not too late, even now. Look, I'll call you. 